What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful Tuesday morning. That's right, I said Tuesday. I'm still going to drop a video tomorrow, but I had to do something a little different. Now, usually we just do Street Fighter, but with all the hype around Injustice, I had to dive in, man, and get my hands dirty with this game to see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and play some Injustice. Um, as you know, there's a lot of hype around this game. Um, some people are kind of skeptical. Some people are all about it. I'm kind of like in the middle right now. So what we're going to do is jump right into... Mm, Let's jump right into Injustice from uh, what I could tell has a lot of stuff has a lot of stuff has a hell of a story mode It's super long um, single player multiplayer online um, hell of characters unlike Street Fighter so in that sense so far it's winning. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this selection. Just beautiful. I don't even know half of these people. Well, actually, I know most of these people, but never played any of them. So look at this. Just the fact that we have choices is a beautiful thing. And I wish Capcom with Street Fighter V would have learned that lesson a long time ago. So anyway, look at this. Um, now, I think I'm going to start off with Flash because I saw his super uh, earlier and it was super dope. That's one thing I can say about Injustice is their supers are legit supers. Not like Street Fighter, you know what I'm saying? Because Injustice 2 supers are like... And then Street Fighter 5 supers are like... And speaking of supers, Flash's super is hella dope. Like, he's so fast, he whoops your ass in time. Like, he time travels, punches a pyramid, slaps a T-Rex, then he comes back and kicks your ass with your own ass. Like, that's how fast Flash is. Now, I will tell you one negative thing, and that's only from a Street Fighter player standpoint, is the movements and the buttons are completely different. So if you're trying to see like, oh, I'm going to rely on my Street Fighter skills to play this game, it's not going to work. At least it hasn't worked for me yet. So it looks like right there, they have some cool moves. Like, a lot of this stuff, I have no idea what I'm doing. So Now, you'll notice too, depending on how you set your stick up, a lot some of these buttons are just empty uh, one thing is important to, to know too uh, Injustice has some moves like uh, you know supers but they also have like a V reversal type thing you could use your meter that's one thing that's hurting me right now is because I have no idea what the meter activates and what it does not you know so I think I think this game in a sense is easier to pick up than uh, Street Fighter V would be, um, but not for me, you know, just because everything I'm used to doing does nothing in this game, so it's very frustrating. I was playing my son the other day in this game and I was just getting my ass whooped and that was not fun for anybody but him, so there we go, see, so Right there, I'm literally just mashing buttons. I'm literally just mashing buttons and doing combos. Okay, I don't. I have no idea what that does. I do know how to do the super though. So let's see. I got it. Look at this. Look at this super, man. It's beautiful. The look at the the graphics. They're beautiful, man. It just completely destroys Street Fighter. Now I will say one thing about uh, supers in this game, though. Some of them. Are just too long at least with Street Fighter 5 when you do a super it's it's uh, it may not be the coolest looking thing especially like Balrog super but it's to the point and it's done and it doesn't really break the momentum of the game with this some of the supers feel like you're in the middle of battle and then all of a sudden you have to stop to watch a small video you know what I'm saying so I don't like that with some of the supers I think it kind of breaks momentum for the players but with saying that I mean they do look super dope so it is what it is also, the price of this is pretty pricey. Um, the basic package is 60 bucks, which means you don't get a lot of the characters. So I wanted the deluxe package because I wanted all the characters. That's 100 bucks. You're gonna spend a little bit over $100 just to get all the characters. And, that, and then when you get it, you realize you're still missing like two characters. So I spent another, what, 12 bucks just to get those two guys. So at the end of the day, I probably spent like close to damn near 120 um, for everything, you know? And I haven't used any of it yet because I'm just, you know, I want the experience. If I get a game, I want it all, you know what I'm saying? So it's pricey. Now you're asking me, is it worth it? 
And I'm asking, well, is any game really worth 120 bucks? I don't, unless it's coming with a guitar and some drums and a whole set like that, I don't really think so, you know what I'm saying? But I think in the long run, this game will probably end up being worth that much just because, I mean, they're going to add to it. They're going to do some new patch updates. I mean, I think it's a really cool looking game. So I would say, you know, for me, so far, it's it seems like it's worth it. But, you know, you're going to have to make that decision for yourself. So I'm assuming we're going to have to fight Wonder Woman now. All right. Oh, my God. She got the lasso. Oh, he flies. There, are, I will say this, man. There seems to be a lot of cool things in here. Uh, they got the environment attacks where you can grab stuff from the uh, from the stage to hit people with. I think that's a real cool gimmick. Woo! So. So I'm going to grab her. Crap. Okay, I just lost that run. What I don't like, uh, one thing I do not like about this game is, uh, which, it, I mean, it's probably always been like that, but I don't like how the life, I don't like how the life stays the same. Get her in the super right quick. I don't like how when you die, uh, you know, it doesn't start for the next round, you know, like Street Fighter. The life stays the same. And then their life refills and they kill you. Now you get the extra life. I've never liked that concept uh, when it came to life. Um, so I don't really I don't really care for that aspect. But I do like how they have the extra levels. Um, kind of like Mortal Kombat. When you can knock them out of certain levels, they'll fly through the wall. And then all of a sudden you're in another level. Um, or you're in another stage. I've always loved that concept. I thought that was super dope. I wish, I think Street Fighter V kind of started to get that, you know, when the noodles go on the head and stuff like that, but they're not even really touching that. I mean, I think that's, I think that's a cool ass concept and I wish Street Fighter would kind of dive into that a little bit more. Oh, in closing, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for putting up with my scrubbish gameplay here in Injustice 2. I'm glad that you guys got to experience this with me. I think bottom, the final verdict, it's worth it. To me, because it's fun. It's, it's, uh, I can't even talk. It's interesting and it's entertaining. So why not? You know what I'm saying? It's If you can do the $60, do it. If you can do the $100, do it. I would do it again um, in a second. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll be able to play you guys soon online. Hit me up with the gamer tag. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where I'm going to be doing a normal comedic video. Hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll be sure to catch you next week and forever to come. Thank you guys so much for the love. And in honor of Injustice 2, I'm going to do the Flash sign off. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Mission start. <laughs>